at 35 PSI. Now this may be a little high. But Good morning, Defiant Jeep. What a wonderful day. Today is the 23rd of December. We are two days of Christmas 2023. And unlike everybody else who's spending time with their family and friends, enjoying uh, warm homes and uh, treats, meals, wonderful drinks, uh, a few of us have gotten together to do a pre-run. Now, today we're going to be taking a ride to Tassie Ranch. Now, this is going to be a wonderful trip since we are just a small group. We actually have Patty from V Notch. And we have Jack Ross from Defiant, um, sorry, not Defiant, um, Jack Ross from Desert Wranglers, who's gonna be the trail boss today. And of course, we're gonna introduce a new family member. If I can get his attention, let's take a look at him. There's Patty from V Notch, and where is that little guy? There he is. Yes, all right, there he is. Oh, come on, guy. This is Jimmy. This is V Notch's new mascot, Jeep and Jimmy. So he's gonna be, uh, Going on trail rides with be not, and hopefully we'll get him used to being on the trail. And right now we're actually at an air down spot. We're letting all our air down on the tires. We're getting down to the appropriate, uh, let's say standard 15 PSI. You can go ahead and adjust it to whatever else you need. Um, but until then, you won't know until you hit the trail. If the ride's too rough, you let down more air. If it's too soft, put some in. But you're all right. Hey, Jack, you want to say hi? Who am I saying hi to? Uh, you are saying hi to all my all of our fans at the Fire and Jeep. This is Jack Ross. He is our trail boss from uh, Desert Wranglers. He'll be leading us. And Jack Ross is a wealth of information with a wonderful guide. Uh, he's been in the area for quite a long time. And if there's anything you need to know, this is probably the man to talk to. Oh, boy, was that an endorsement? I don't know if all of that's true or not, but I'll stick with that. <laughs> okay. well, this is the day I met you, mate. You never let me wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Hey, you bet. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go ahead and finish airing down, and then we're going to get on the road promptly. All right, Defiant Jeepers aired down. We're ready to go. We're going to get on the trail in just one second. Let's go.
Alrighty, folks, we went ahead and made our first stop. Uh, before we continue forward, I don't know, don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is actually a pre-run um, through uh, up to Tasi Ranch, what we're doing. Uh, that's why our group is so small. And of course, we went through, um, oh my God, I forgot the name of that rocky road. But uh, I'll, I'll get back to you on the name of that road there. And you knew you were off that road, but uh, it was so rough. And I do apologize for or my video will be pretty shaky, but that uh, that road is tore up and it's not maintained in any way. And uh, of course you knew you were off the road once we get on the dirt path itself, but now we just actually stopped at the, the local cemetery. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what's going on on this part right here. And it's not huge, but it is something to look at. And of course it is mounted with, uh, with an American flag uh, to honor those who have been uh, settled here. The chair means something. Hey, little buddy. I'm sorry. Everybody calls it a park, and I do too. But Lake Mead is not a natural park. Jeep and Jimmy. Jeep and Jimmy needs to learn how to behave. Let's take a look at the other side. So this is evidently a spot where a family has been buried. Okay. And the last name Lee, Leland, very Mormonish. All righty, folks. We are all set. Everything was uh, everybody's all buckled in. We're ready to to roll out and uh, get to the next stop after the cemetery. Alrighty, folks, we actually stop for a second. We're gonna take a look at a, uh, a parasite plant. It's called mistletoe. And I know that mistletoe 
sounds like a very pleasing plant, especially this time of year, uh, being since we're a couple of days from Christmas. But uh, mistletoe, uh, this particular uh, breed or species of mistletoe is actually a parasite that um, when it grows on a plant, it actually uh, attacks and kills its host plant. Let's take and a look in the at springtime, it. Actually, this is not the This is because you see, yeah, you see the thorns on it? Look at that cloth. Yeah. Ooh, can I come up here? Am I going to make it? Ooh. Let me go. There's the. Oh, is that it? This the is a thorn called cat claw. Yeah, don't because brush up against that. If you look at the that. thorns on it, they're just, they look just like mesquite, except the thorns are completely different. This is cool. Either one of them will hurt you really bad, though. Clearly some lava here. Look at all the hoof prints and stuff there. Alrighty, folks, and there you have it. A demonstration of what an actual parasite species of mistletoe looks like uh, as explained by Jack Ross our, our trail boss and Miss Catherine who is another one of our trail riders we're gonna go ahead and hang out for a minute and then we'll get back on the trail alrighty we are back in we're mounting up as they say our next stop is Bacoon Springs still on our way to uh, Tassie Ranch and um, I know I did not make a mention of this earlier uh, as you notice that I'm actually riding shotgun with V Notch and Jeep and Jimmy today. Uh, Defiant, um, we got a few projects going on with Defiant right now, so he's not going to be on the road for the next couple weeks. Uh, so hopefully this is going to be uh, a fun ride. I know it's going to be a fun ride. Um, 4.3 miles to Pacoon Springs. Okay, we got 4.3 miles to Pacoon Springs. We're on the way now. We've already uh, rolled out. So let's. Um, Let's keep on going, and I may talk about the fire more a little later today, but there will be videos on the uh, the other projects going on. Uh, nothing huge, maybe, you know, uh, like a PA speaker for the CB, a re-gear with lockers, uh, a couple of few things going on, but uh, we'll talk about them uh, later, or um, uh, I'll, I'll just let you wait for the videos, but it wouldn't be long from now anyways. But all right, let's go ahead and uh, keep on trucking along. Alrighty, folks, we went ahead and made our, our stop over here to the spring. Now, um, it's actually a very nice little spot, very quiet. Like I just said, that the, uh, the group is just a small, just uh, three Jeeps. Um, not too bad of a, of a lookout. The scenery is beautiful. And of course, they even a provided, if you can see behind me, a facilities where we can do a, a BioBreaker 10100, which I'm sure we're all going to take advantage of before we get out of here. But for the time being, let's go ahead and take a look at the spring. This is the Trail Boss's Jeep, man. I love this Jeep. I think it's awesome. This would definitely be the spring at this point right here, but the climate is so dry at this time, the spring is dry. But you still cannot deny, look at that 
scenery. Look at the whole landscaping. The land is just beautiful. Whether the spring is wet or not, it's just something great to look at. Let's take a look at the rest of the scenery around us. Hopefully, enough daylight left on the way out. Maybe we can go that way. Not just certainly go off that way. Just beautiful. Alrighty, folks. Before we continue this um, this little visit to the spring, uh, we're just gonna hang out for a minute. You just stretch your legs, talk a little good stuff over here. But for right now, let's go ahead and take that break. We're gonna take advantage of the facilities that's been provided um, by the Park and Rec, and then we'll get back on the trail. Alrighty, folks, we are all set to go. Let's uh. Hey, Jack, are we supposed to follow you? Let's go ahead and saddle up. Yeah, come on down here. We're gonna, it's, it's, there's a big gate down here. We're gonna turn around, but we'll place them down here to where the trees are. Alrighty, looks like we're gonna take a look at a spot where there's more trees. And there's this one Mike's still on here. Oh, haha. <laughs> Mike's still on. Okay, good. Take a look at a spot where there's more trees. There is a gate there that's locked, so we probably will not go beyond that gate. Am I on the right strap? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check it out real quick. And uh let's see what we find. All right, we're going ahead and made it to the gated area. Let's, let's take a look. Now this looks up a sweet. All righty, so here's a gate. It is gated, but not locked. Don't know if we're permitted to go in, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot anyways. Well, yes, and as, as it gets bigger, but I'm, you see, the, well, like this right here, and the, they get a lot longer than that, but it's just a straight point. There's some bigger ones over in there. The big, you know, the bigger the bush gets. That's the mistletoe. There was a guy up in, in Pahrump years ago, a friend of mine told me the story. Uh, he had a little, where he lived, there was all kinds of mesquite trees out in the back of his place. <laughs> One of his neighbors got, had killed a rattlesnake, brought it over, he put it in the guy's backyard, called the guy out, pointed out, and the guy was definitely afraid of rattlesnakes, which I guess you should be. And he pointed at the rattlesnake, <laughs> that guy didn't know how. He took off running one right out through the friggin' mesquite trees. Oh. And he comes back in, and the guy said, well, no, it's dead. Look at it. He went over and kicked it, and of course the nerves, the friggin' tail rattled a little bit, right back out through the mesquite trees. He was so freaking caught up, whatever, he had to go to the doctor after that episode. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have thought he'd have learned the first time not to go through those mesquite trees. Yeah, right? Oh man. Ah, yeah. But he's from Texas. <laughs> well, you know, I I won't kill him, but I'll certainly give him that. Them Texas their, remarks their based on that joke we said earlier today. I don't know if you heard that, but Jack said that this is cottonwood. Yeah. All righty, folks, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue to enjoy this moment for just a little while longer, probably spend a couple minutes over here. And then uh, we're going to get back on the trail. Don't know where our next stop is, but we're still on our path to uh, Tassie Ranch. Let's see how fast we can get there. Uh, more than likely, this is gonna be a long day. By the time we start heading home, it's gonna be dark. So we're gonna make the best adventure we can of this.
Alrighty, folks, we're going to go ahead and take a break at this time right here. We made it to a nice little area where there is some kind of a abandoned home of some sort. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Uh, but my battery is dying, so I'm not going to catch any footage. Um, but I'll, I'll do my best to describe it when I get back. So I will see you in a minute. Alrighty, folks, the uh, the abandoned house is exactly that, just abandoned house. Uh, we looked at the one directly in front of us with the 179 as a house number. And it really is tiny. It's, it's like a small bedroom. It has a, a bed, a desk, a wood stove, uh, and I didn't notice anything else. I'm sure the facilities or whatever else is on the outside. There's an abandoned trailer that looks like it has an expansion on it. Like they put like a, uh, uh, a type of port with an awning, like, like a backyard patio kind of setup. But they got a fridge and a sink back there and it's all just basically abandoned as it, as it would be. Um, other than that, it hasn't been kept. Uh, the, the only thing that we can tell is that someone was probably here about 20 years ago because there is a calendar in there from 2004 so i think that would be it i don't think anybody stepped up here over the last 20 years but all right let's uh let's go ahead and get back on the trail